In this video, let's see another subtopic of the topic of algebra of continuous functions. We have already seen few subtopics like sum, division we are going to see here, product we have already seen. So in this video, we are going to talk about the division or the quotient of continuous functions. The introduction part remains the same that we have f and g as two real valued continuous functions at x is equal to a, alpha being a real number. I know that we have two individual continuous functions but in this video we have to see the division or the quotient so that means f upon g and we have to say that and prove that it is continuous at x is equal to a. But one thing needs to be taken into consideration and careful be that we need to be careful with this g because it is in the denominator so this denominator should never be equal to 0 because otherwise it becomes undefined. So provided is that g of a is not equal to 0. Now individually speaking what about limit fx at x tends to a and what about limit gx at x tends to a. From the previous videos you can directly speak the answer that this becomes equal to f of a, this becomes equal to g of a. The reason being simple, reason is that these things are continuous, these functions are continuous, so the limit should be equal to the value of the function. Now you have to talk about f upon g. When you talk about f upon g, you know that you are going to speak something about this, right? Limit f upon g x at x tends to a. Now what is to be followed next? To be followed next is the separation of the limits because you have numerator, you have denominator. Let's put limit on both these sides because it is allowed it is the property so limit x tends to a fx divided by limit x tends to a gx this is the scenario let's put equal to here in alignment with the upon sign now what is the value of limit x tends to a fx limit x tends to a fx is equal to f of a so it is equal to f of a then we have an upon sign. What is the value of limit x tends to a gx? Limit x tends to a gx is equal to g of a. So it is equal to g of a. Now f upon f of a upon g of a can also be written as f upon g of a. And that is what was needed. We started with the concept of limits in case of the division or the quotient. And we ended up at the value of the function which happens in the case of continuous functions. So we say that when f and g are two individually continuous functions, real functions continuous, their division, their quotient is also continuous at x tends to a provided the denominator g of a should not be equal to 0.